<coughs> so we are continuing our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, configuring Windows devices for exam 70-697. We are going to be working on Lab 8, which is configuring IP settings. <clears throat> so we are going to pull up the CL1. And DC one. So let's go ahead and sign into our domain controller first. <clears throat> now we'll sign into our CL one. Of course, we're going to sign into CL one as a datum administrator. Okay, now that we're on a data administrator, we want to go into our network and sharing center. <clears throat> so we're going to right click on our little adapter down here. Want to go into change adapter settings? Of course. Okay, let's do it the other way. We're going to go ahead and click on Ethernet. Let's go here. Click Properties. Go into IPv4 Properties. <clears throat> and you'll see this is what the, this is the one we set up originally through the um, lab setup that we did. So I'm going to go ahead and go we want to change this to obtain automatically and then click on OK close Close. I just want to rename this. So I know which one I'm working with. Now we're going to go into the command prompt. Right click. Run <clears throat> CMD. And then OK. Now we want to do IP config. I want to scroll up. So here's private one. And it gave us an auto configuration IP address of this. Also do ipconfig slash all. 
which is just going to give us a little bit more detail. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this for a moment and go back to our private one with all properties. IPv4 properties, and we're going to put in that address that we had initially. 172.16.0.40 and for DNS, 216.0.10. Now the lab manual is just to put in a default gateway. 172.16.0.1. And then, okay, close, close. Close out of this, close out of this. Now I'm going to rerun my IP config. And you can see my private one is back to my original IP address. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and do the IPv6 settings in the same video. So we're going to go back to control panel. Network and Sharing Center. Adapter settings, the private one, properties, you'll see this one, properties, we don't have anything in here yet. Close out of this for a moment. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on details. And you see we currently have a link local IPv6 address. So we're going to go ahead and close. I'm going to go back into properties. Now I'll go into IPv6 and properties. going to type in fe80 colon 0 colon ac4a colon aa04 colon 713a colon 0 colon 0 colon <coughs> ce2b when you tab, it'll automatically put in our submit prefix link. And we're going to go ahead and do OK, and then close, and close. Now we want to go back to our IP, IP config. And you can see that we now have the address we put in. Okay, and that is the end of exercise two. And the end of this video, the next video, we're going to go into configuring advanced share settings and network locations.